Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to onboard Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices into Microsoft Defender ATP. In subsequent videos here, I've shown you a little bit of the onboarding methods for various device types. For Windows 7 and Windows 8, it's pretty straightforward here, but I wanted to show you a quick demo in the portal and on one of these devices here. So if you go into the settings section of Windows Defender ATP Admin Center here, you can always go down and scroll down to onboarding. From onboarding, you can select the operating system here from the top. You'll want to turn on client device monitoring if it's not already on here. The cool part about this page is you can always click on these instructions here and they open up in a new tab just to refresh your memory. If you haven't done this before or if this has been a while since you last onboarded an operating system and you don't remember the steps to take. Uh, but this one's pretty straightforward here. We can go ahead and grab a package file for installing an agent. And I'll be working with configuring a workspace ID and key in that wizard for setup and then we'll run a detection test afterwards. So let's go ahead and pop on to that device and walk through this process. So I'm here on a Windows 7 device and I'm just pulling up the config so you can see that I am on the Windows 7 device. I'm going ahead and installing the MMA agent from the support article I just referenced there and I'm walking through the wizard here for the monitoring agent setup, you click the box here for the log analytics connection, which will give you the ability to put in a workspace ID and a workspace key. And this is where you go back into the admin center here for the actual onboarding section. And you'll again, make sure you're on the Windows 7 operating system. You'll copy the workspace ID You'll paste that in here. And then you'll copy the workspace key. You'll paste that in as well. And you'll click on next. And for this preference, I say I do not want Microsoft to update and then I install. After this is done, It'll take some time, but I'll go ahead and copy the script for the detection test. And basically you can run this in command line, just run command line as administrator. And I go ahead and paste that in. And if it's successful, it'll just close the window. I would give it about 30 minutes or so before you come back in, but you will come into the devices section back in the Windows Defender Security Center and you can come and you can see I do have this Windows 7 device now. I've got the build and I can go directly to the device page and get this as far as the telemetry on recommendations or risk levels and things like that and have all the information here in the portal. If there is any to report on, this is just a test VM, so there's not much going on. But that's how you go ahead and onboard a Windows 7 or Windows 8 device. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.